Hello all you beautiful people. Welcome back to another art class. Today we are going to learn about the artwork of Lisa Congdon. Lisa Congdon is an illustrator, fine artist and writer based in Portland, Oregon. Congdon's story as an illustrator is unique because she never planned to be an artist. If you have ever seen Lisa's illustrations, you have no doubt noticed the bold colors, flowing lines and happiness that exudes for Congdon's artwork. In this lesson, students will create a collection of whimsical flowers with very simple materials focusing on shape and line that will yield amazing results. You will also focus on creating variety and contrast by varying the size and color of your flowers. So let's begin. The materials that you require are, I'm using a green sulfide paper but you can use anything as your background colored papers, circle tracers of various sizes, pencil, black and white oil pastels. If you do not have oil pastels, you can use markers or crayons, scissors and glue. Choose three or more different colors that contrast or stand out against your background color whichever color of background that you choose to go ahead with use circle tracers in various sizes to trace circles on each of the colors with a pencil now it's okay if you don't get a perfect circle while you're cutting it it's all about embracing imperfectness you can also draw different shapes of flowers tulips or geometric shapes if you wish by drawing a u shape and closing the top with a straight line cut out your circles and your shapes now be very careful while cutting them my video was sped up that's why it looked like I was cutting it really fast but I like to cut and do my artwork very carefully and with a lot of craftsmanship arrange them on a piece of paper that you chose as your background green in my case move them around until you find a composition that you're satisfied with using a mix of colors and sizes will help give your artwork variety sometimes when I place things like that before sticking them and finalizing them I realize maybe I don't want these two colors together some circles can extend off the edge of the paper glue the shapes down then turn the paper over and trim the edges if you need to now I'm using a glue stick because it's less acidic in nature and it won't spoil the paper over time and it's easy to deal with Now I'm happy with my composition. If you want, you can go back and add more colors or shapes or circles or use a variety of different shapes to make your composition. I'm going to go ahead only with circles or maybe add one different shape just to show you that you can add variety in your artwork. You may also overlap the circles, putting one over the other like I'm doing in the video. After you're happy with it, let's just flip it over, give it a good massage so that the circles stick to the paper and then we are going to trim off the extra edges of circles going off the edge of the paper. I'm gonna add a different shape here just to show you that there are so many different variations that you can come up with. We are getting inspired by Lisa's work but you can always add your own little artistic touches, your own details. You don't have to stick with the shape that I'm using here. If you like a particular shape, you can go ahead and use it to create your artwork. Use white and black oil pastels or crayons or markers to add details to the flowers. Avoid using white on light colors and black on dark colors to help enhance the contrast. Start in the middle of each flower shape and make a center of dots. Now you do not have to stick with dots. There are so many different kinds of lines that you can use to create your flowers. You can go spiral, you can go zigzag, you can go wavy. You decide. 
your circles will however have radial balance meaning the design extends out from the center of the circle towards the edges after we are done and you are happy with how your flowers look like remember use dark colors on light colors and we are using light colors on a dark colored background you can use a variety of different lines you can use different uh, shapes if you want you don't have to stick with what I'm doing but because we are trying to get inspired and make an artwork inspired by Lisa's work we're gonna try and stick to radial balance okay once you're happy with how your flowers look we're gonna add stems extending to the bottom of the paper for each flower some stems may go behind other flowers overlapping them in order to reach the bottom of the paper Use white oil pastel to add leaves to some of the flowers to fill some of the negative space around the flowers. You can also add leaves extending off the page in areas that look a little bare, even if there isn't a flower there. Now, to finish off your flowers, use the scrap paper from cutting out your shape and a hole punch to create small circles. Use the punches to add extra color to the negative space around the flowers. Now, I usually do not like kids putting glue on their fingers, but because these are such small dots, you can put a tiny dot of glue on your index finger. You can simply press your finger down on a dot and it will stick to your finger. So pick it up and put it up on your paper.